comfort, care, warmth, light, the feeling of home. How can I feel at home when I am so far away from it? I question, what becomes it? How do I feel safe and comfortable and cared for and warm? What are those moments I chase? Caught in an embrace with someone I love, getting into bed after a long day, being surrounded by my friends, trickling spontaneous moments of laughter, familiar sounds, favorite songs, reminiscing moments through pictures, conversing with my parents, my house, my body, my home. My body provides comfort to me in many times of uncertainty, relying on its movement as therapeutic, meditative, except when my body becomes its own source of frustration, the sore muscles, the knots, the overall exhaustion. But even in those moments, I return to movement, to my breath, filling my belly, up and down, in and out. I have to remind myself that this body is my body. It has knowledge. It has power. But I close my eyes at night and I feel safe again because I have my body. Hey, fuck him, Scotty. If he was a better boxer, he'd still be alive. If he never laced up his gloves, which he never should have done in the first fucking place, he'd still be alive. <laughs> yeah, well, who gives a fuck? It's over now. Yeah, well, enough about the poor, unfortunate Mr. Floyd. Let's talk about the rich and prosperous Mr. Butch. How many bookies you lay around with? All eight? How long to collect? So you have a whole bit tomorrow night? No, I understand. A few straggles of sorry. Oh, fuck, Scotty, that is good news. That is great news, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, me and Fabiana are going to leave in the morning. And yeah, it'll probably take us a couple days to get down to Knoxville. Okay, my brother. <laughs> You're right. You're goddamn right. All right, Scotty. Next time I see you, we'll be on Tennessee time. Cool, brother. <laughs> <laughs>